specific to Sicilian. Since your skirmishers take half the damage, and your spears take half the damage against the units, I'm going to show you one of my favorite builds, which is a forward. And combining that with a dungeon is going to make it like that much tougher for your opponent to deal with. So we are going to forward our opponent. And this works really well against scout openers. We're gonna be using skirmishes and spearmen and dungeons as part of the rush and follow it up with knights and scouts and knights. It's one of the build orders I really like to use to catch people who don't know how to counter it. It's a very hard execution uh, build order though. Like you need to be very, very uh, sharp in your unit control. Sicilian forward spear ah. forward. Let's just call it forward. Why is it really good with Sicilian? The reason it's pretty good with Sicilian is since your skirmishes take half the damage from your opponent's skirmishes, they are like much more tougher to deal with. And even your spearmen are going to be pretty, pretty strong against the opponent's range units that you might make. So the combination of those two trash units and the fact you get dungeons, which are harder to get rid of compared to the other units, is going to be what we are going to be like using as a bonus for Sicilians. So three onward in the start, don't need any more than that. Opening will look again much like the scout rush build order. You can uh, switch to sergeants as well. Yeah. That's one of the unique things about Sicilians. You don't have to stick with trash only, but like a mix of sergeants and uh, scouts in mid game. I'm making the build order on the point, uh, on the spot though. So I'm going to be doing a lot of adaptive things. Maybe I'll like refine it a little bit later on. But this is like a test variation of doing it with Sicilians. Gonna push in the two Ds again. Get on the board. That's all I need. Once I push two deals, that's all I need. And I'm going to go up with 20 population again. I'm going to get three on berries. Found where my opponent is. Going up. 
Cacciatori. Senza map, I'm gonna send these villages to the board so that I have 8 on one word line. I don't need more than 8. And since I'm up, I'm gonna send 3 healthy villages forward. Eight on word, three on berries, rest under the town center and sending three villages forward. Make the barracks in like middle of the map. And now I'll drop a artillery range on top of him, get two spears with the villagers. Six on Chief, and then six on Berries. He has a lumber camp here. Gotta make one more spear. Adding scums. <coughs> Sorry. Hope you will upload these to YouTube. Yeah, I plan to. And once you have your stuff up, you can start adding donjon with the combination of your villages. Keep adding skirmishers to protect the villages which are uh, making the donjon. And once you have six on uh, your berries, you can start adding farms. Till you have like something. Uh, Till you have something like eight farms. I do have Huskal Shield on TC. I think it's a mod. I don't know why. Is there? Now with these forward villages, I can do a couple of things. I can either take his resources like stone or I can use them to fight with the spears and skirmishes mixed in. I'm gonna make like 8 farms. Just like look for villages wherever you can find them. Once I have 8 farms, all the new villages, like I can maybe just mine his stone this game, so that these villages are not idle. And I can add gold. So now I can start adding sergeants as well. So once I have 8 farms, 6 on berries, I can start, which is the best serve to do this with? Lithuanians, Byzantines, yeah. So, I need something like 4 on gold actually, I don't need more than that. And I can just continue making dungeons with sergeants. And now, new villages make more farms. Keep adding spears and skirmishers and like whatever units you need. But now, most of the new units that you're going to be making are going to be sergeants. So now we are starting to mixing sergeants instead.
Once my berries are out, I'm gonna send these villagers to make a lumber camp. So the dungeon is gonna let me make like more sergeants and the more sergeants I have, the more dungeons I can make. I'm going to use these villagers to mine the stone of my opponent. If the other person hits you at your base instead of defending, uh, you basically wall yourself and do enough damage that they can't counter attack. And even if they counter attack, do more damage to them than they can ever do to you. Uh, does the half damage start make the tower do less damage or does their damage stay the same? I think the damage is the same, 5 damage. Which is like same as, uh, I think a normal tower maybe. I'm not 100% sure though, I'll have to check it. Again, like now I can start spamming, uh, start spamming the unique unit. I can get like upgrades for my dungeon and like play a dungeon rush with like uh, sergeant. I think I made something new. I don't think I've ever done this before. <laughs> this might actually be an actual strategy. You can garrison more in Sicilian Tower. Yeah, armor and attack and fletching as well. And now, I just keep adding more dungeons. I actually need more on stone though. Do you prefer fletching and dungeon? Yes, I do. And now I can start mixing in either dungeon, like more, more sergeants. Or I can start adding archers as well. I'll test it out on ladder and see how well it works. Like so far it looks really strong. Fletching for skirmishers? I mean it's more for the towers rather than for the skirmishers. Are you gonna try it another stream? Probably. Today I'm just doing build orders. Let's just ward there. Right now, like, PC is just dead. Like, he can't deal with this anymore. I have way too much gold as well. I needed like 4 on gold only. So yeah, those are like the small things I can improve upon in the build order. I can like continuously produce from all the dungeons as well. If I want, but I'm just gonna go up to the castle age instead. No, and now I drop a castle while using my uh, 
the dungeons to kill everything else. Will you publish build like Hera for subs only? I'll just post all of them to YouTube. I don't think I'll bother uh, remembering the numbers and printing it out like a thing. I would rather do it like by feel rather than having a set one. Although like some of the things are very set. <laughs> so maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm not 100% sure yet, but if like there's enough demand for it, sure, I'll put in the time to make one. Yeah, like with these many sergeants, if you get the castle age upgrade on them, uh, which like you get for free, if you get the castle age, like you can just start booming behind this and like 3 TC, drop a castle and it should be really hard for your opponent to deal with this. I did something similar against the 1900 but it wasn't like as heavy in the donjon and the sergeant department. Like in this one I'm playing more heavily into sergeant. Farm upgrade, wood upgrade. PC. PC over here, I guess. Even the three villagers will drop the castle really quickly. And now you have like a lot of attack and everything. Getting speed and the arson, and then you can just spam uh, don't, like sergeant while booming behind all of them. I mean, this is like a test build. I don't think I have... How would someone counter this? I think you have to play really sharp against the initial forward. You have to counter the forward immediately to not let it snowball because if it gets to this position even I don't know how to counter this because like if you let him make these many donjons and get these many sergeants out you're already dead at that point. Oh, that was 